Do you know how NativeScript implements safe areas? Oh, um, sorry, there we go, safe areas. Safe areas are an iOS concept to avoid the notch, and NativeScript provides different ways you can actually work with safe areas in your layouts and your views. And today, Dave is back to talk about safe areas and to break it down for us. Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Alex Iskind. My guest today, Dave Coffin. He's a NativeScript developer expert. He's got another tip for us today regarding iOS safe areas and how NativeScript handles them. He'll show you how to use safe areas in layouts, as well as regular views and what the difference is and special attributes you can apply to stretch or not stretch your views beyond the safe areas of iOS devices. If you like the native script content you see here, please consider subscribing to this channel and hit the little bell so you don't miss any native script tips, tricks, and tutorials that we do here on this channel. All right, here's Dave. Hey everyone. So today I'm going to go over how to handle the safe area component of iOS views that was introduced to deal with the fact that uh, your UI can now extend into the areas of a full screen device. This is what Apple considers a full screen device. Uh, your views can extend into areas where your content could be clipped or interfere with the home status indicator or the status bar. iOS handles this automatically by providing uh, some safe area margins. Now, what they consider the safe area will change depending on the device and the orientation, but basically it is uh, the square portion of the UI. So this rounded corner section is considered unsafe and the status bar area and the notch all considered unsafe. Now, unsafe means it's not safe for you to put content there and be confident that it won't look weird or interfere with the rounded corner or the status bar or the home indicator. Now you'll notice that this grid layout does extend into these areas. And that's because as of NativeScript 5, NativeScript handles this in a really elegant way. What they have done is they have designated certain views as layouts and layouts do extend into these unsafe areas. And they've designated the rest of the views content and content will not extend. Now we can demonstrate this by switching this to a stack layout. Now what that will do is move our hello world label up to the top and you'll notice that it only goes right up to here. Now that is the iOS defined uh, margin from the top of a full screen device for this iPhone 11. Now we can demonstrate this further by changing this back to a grid layout and adding a nice image background. Now let's, I'm going to paste in a picture of a sunset because I love sunsets and let's see what happens. All right, so of course we need to add stretch, aspect fill, which will stretch that image to the edges of the device. Uh, and you'll notice that an image is considered content now, that's usually what you would want, but in this case, we want this image to act as a background. And so NativeScript provides a handy property for this, and that is iOS overflow safe area. Set it to true, and that means on iOS, this content will overflow the safe area. Let's save that, and there you go. So now it extends to the edges of the device, and this is gonna be true on both portrait and landscape. Now, if we set this to false in landscape, you can see what the safe areas look like in this orientation. Now, so that's great, but now let's paste in a list view. The ni other nice thing about how NativeScript handles this is that the native controls will automatically behave uh, properly in each uh, orientation. And a list view uh, does extend into the unsafe areas. Now that is the proper behavior, but you'll notice that it is conflicting right here. Now, I this is my biggest pet peeve in, in mobile apps is when text sits on top of the status bar. Uh, now, there's a number of ways to handle this, of course. You could uh, put it in a grid layout, set the height explicitly, but one of the 
cooler ways to do it is to, um, we can put this in a stack layout. Drop the list view in there. Now it's not gonna change anything, but if we put in another stack layout and set the background color to, let's just do blue so we can see it. And we'll set the height to one. So it actually, if any view is touching the edges of the safe area, it will extend automatically to the top of the device. Now let's try uh, one other UI experiment. Say we want a button that always sits at the bottom of the UI that extends to the edge. Now what we can do to achieve that, let's create a grid layout and we'll give it row and then we'll do auto in the second row. Now, Let's create a button, give it a background color of red, and put it in the row at the bottom. Now by default, uh, the button will not extend to the edges, but let's add iOS overflow safe area equals true. Now this is cool, but it's not quite lined up right. So let's add some padding to the bottom of 20 points. There we go. Now that's pretty cool. So now you could have some form uh, or even a, a list view or, or some UI where you want to always have a done, a big, huge done button at the bottom. Uh, now this will always sit at the bottom and even in landscape, it's going to look great. That's just a brief overview of the way NativeScript handles the uh, safe areas in iOS. Uh, but I hope it helps some of you guys. See you later. Yeah, Dave, thanks a lot for that. That was an awesome tutorial. If you have any more questions for Dave about safe areas, leave a comment down below. And down below in the description, you'll find a link to nativescripting.com where you'll be able to learn a lot more about NativeScript. The NativeScript Core Pro course has just been updated. There's now 16 chapters for you of in-depth knowledge and more on the way. If you like this kind of content here, please consider subscribing to this channel and hit the little bell so you don't miss any NativeScript tips, tricks, and tutorials that we do here. And I will see you in the next one.